You're so fucking vain. I'm not vain. New news? Yeah. Did you hear what happened in Somalia? 2.5 million people are starving to death. Oh, really? That's spectacular. <gasps> what? It can't be. What? You want to hear something really terrible? Nicole Richie? She died? Worse. She's fat again. Look! <laughs> You're such a bitch. It's only a little weight. Honey, it looks like she ate her baby. <sighs> Ooh, is this the new Maybelline model? She is super fragilistically stunning. Maybe she's born with it. I mean, talk about genetically blessed. Seriously, look at her. Wow, do you need a minute there alone with a magazine? Honey, you're just jealous. You know, you should do your hair like hers. Upgrade the visage a little. It'll help you with those anxieties about sharing the world with beautiful people. Is that the latest issue? Um, yeah. Have you seen it yet? Seen what? The latest miracle cream. I don't think I Really? Just... But there's been so much anticipation around it. Here, let me show you. Oh, is she the new Maybelline model? She's gorgeous. Here it is. Are your fine lines not looking so fine anymore? Oh, please. Is time flying by too fast? Yes. Are people getting younger than you? Yes. Are you celebrating another birthday this year? Yes. Then you must be aging. No. Relax. The Miracle Cream Edition 435 is the best of its range and unlike anything ever invented before. That sounds revolutionary. Oh, please, you don't really believe that, do you? The model in this hasn't even hit puberty yet. Don't let your skepticism fool you. Read this. It's the cream's scientific formula derived from the perfect balance of leading edge ingredients which makes her look so uh, young. No, it's her age that makes her look young. Excuse me, are you seriously passing up an opportunity to enhance the visage again? No, but I don't need that much upgrading. Don't need that much upgrading? Might I remind you of your little outburst in the change room yesterday? I mean, it's become a weekly thing. Weekly outburst? It's nothing. Nothing? Every time we're out shopping and she decides to try something on, we end up having to call in disaster relief because she goes into cardiac arrest in the change room. But that's because you keep nitpicking. You're the one who brings it up. Am I size touching? Is my hair okay? Would you prefer me to lie? Well, recent studies found that 82% of women in Australia are unhappy with how they look. So it's not the end of the world. You just need to be smarter about the products you use. Last year a survey was conducted and it found that 90% of the participants said it improved their self-esteem. How much more convincing do you need? Can you just swallow your pride and admit that you're not as fortunate as the Maybelline model? But I... Listen, <laughs> I have faith in you and I know deep, deep down, somewhere really deep down, that you could look just as beautiful as her. If only you had the decency to try. Right. I'm just going to let you take a minute to look back at what you just said so that you can assess for yourself how ridiculous you sound. Babes, how long has it been? Excuse me? Since you gave up, how long has it been? <laughs> what do you Since mean? Since you let yourself go, how long has it been? Let myself go? Are you telling me you always fashion those dimply thighs? Ew, you poor thing. <laughs> Excuse me, but... Shh. I've seen this like a million times. They walk around blindly in lard filled bodies completely oblivious to how disgusting they are. And you think after all those years of taunting in high school something would click? Well it's never too late to implement strategies for change. Plus there is an extensive range of research backed fads available to save you. For example, the lemon detox? Or the only lettuce diet. Both have been proven to work by very reliable sources. But I Kate Moss says the only lettuce diet. Kate Moss is a cokehead. And that's why the diet's so great. It lets you keep some guilty pleasures. But hello, miss. I don't need upgrading. You think you're so precious now because technically you're not obese? But you wait. A couple of kilos here, a couple of kilos there, and you'll be Pavarotti in no time. Okay. Okay. I I guess I could work on my thighs. Plus your arms. Fine. And you need to iron out those huge facial creases before they get any worse. Ah, uh, yes. I see your main problem areas are the crow's feet. And there does appear to be an onset of forehead wrinkles. Oh, you notice that. 
Listen, Baze, we're totally, like, not trying to get you down, but you need to change before you end up in the back of every queue watching your life waste away as an average-sized, plain-faced nobody. You know what? Laser Me Silly is the best clinic in town. Children, oil war. Ooh, the Beckhams are in town. Victoria is so skillily divine. I know. Her cheekbones really suit you. Thanks. Hello? Yeah, just the lips this week. Two's fine. Collagen and reshape. Oh, damn, I forgot my chin appointment at three. Oh well, I'll just have to call and reschedule. Hey. Hello. Got the latest issue. Have you seen the newest miracle cream? It's 127% better than the last one. That was just two months ago. Incredible. Here. Stop reminiscing about your youth and replace your nostalgia with Young Forever. This new miracle cream brings you the latest in ultimate skin revival. Swap your lame old skin for awesome new prepubescent skin. Shh. Don't tell your friends. Ooh, we are getting it. O-M-G. Babes, you look like really hot. Thanks. Feeling like his diet is great. A couple of fainting spells, but no drama. Well, don't worry about that. It's a normal side effect. Babes, I'm like so proud that we inspired you to be beautiful. I agree. Because so many people never realize their full potential. But you chose to realize yours. Wow, Aphrodite just got replaced. Look at the new cover girl model. Infallible. And like so petite for such a tall frame. I got my hair done to match hers. <laughs> You'd never look like her. <laughs> I, I know, but... Unfortunately, science has its limitations. Oh, but any improvement is an improvement nonetheless, right? But babes, in like all honesty, you could afford to lose a couple more inches like if you really want that perfect waist. And you're never going to find love with that double chin. How are you going to get a job with those bongo drums you call thighs? Does your nose block your vision? Don't need that much upgrading. 82% of women are in Australia are unhappy with how they look. Do you prefer me to lie? Average sized, plain faced, nobody. When will you stop feeding those thunder thighs? Let's give that back flab a break, okay? Okay. Your wrinkles are killing you. I need to fix them. Seriously, your face does not flatter you at all. There are ways to correct all of this. You could be so perfect if you just tried. I am trying. What more can I do? Try harder. Enough! You! How dare you tell me I could be skinnier when every second of my time is spent on self-loathing, calorie calculations, and guilt-driven gym sessions. I can't even eat chewing gum without planning how I'm gonna burn it off! I'm sorry. What was that? I can't hear you over my stomach grumbling! Is starvation and low self-esteem my full potential? Am I beautiful now? And you. Scientific research shows that women don't like their bodies. Well, if you're such a wonderful scientist, why don't you come up with a cure for that? Instead of creating more empty promises of beauty and confidence in the shape of tiny, ridiculously expensive bottles of bird shit. Uh. And you. 
what? Care to share any more words of wisdom? I know who you really are, Elia, and you know damn well that I'm right. Well, I finally realize you will never be satisfied. So I'm done hating myself and I'm done with you. <laughs> you really think it's that easy? That you can just switch me off like that? I grew up with you, Elia. I'm your mother. The pretty girls in high school. Your skinny best friend. I'm everything and everyone that knows how little you're worth. No matter what you say. No matter what you think. You can't escape me because I'm already inside. You created us, darling. You let us in and every time you walk past your reflection, we'll be there. Every time you see what you will never measure up to on the billboards, in the TV screen, in the magazines, you'll crumble. Because you know at the bottom of your gut that you, more than anyone else here, hate yourself. We, we didn't create, create your low self-esteem, you, you did. Well, I finally see it. And I don't care about any of them or the models in the pictures. I won't let them or you decide for me if I'm beautiful, if I'm worthy, if, if I'm allowed to be confident. So you can keep all your lies and concerns and manipulations, but I'm done with you. I'll be my own judge from now on. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 